You're sure my father's all right, Francis? Well, listen, when he gets out of his meeting, have him call me. No, 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 better yet, I'll call him. Okay, yeah, thanks, bye. You couldn't get in touch with him? No, he's in a meeting. That secretary doesn't have a clue as to what this is all about. She insists that is fine. This doesn't make any sense. What could Sloan have meant? Bad news about your father. Well, there's only one way to find out for sure. See Sloan. And make her explain exactly what her new game is all about. You ready? Ready for what? Shopping. Remember my wedding dress? Oh, Clarissa, I'm sorry. I had completely forgotten. There's just been so much going on. Oh, sweetheart, don't worry about it. We'll do it some other time. Actually, my coming over here is really just an excuse to come to see my beautiful little granddaughter. Hi there, Allison. Oh, you look so pretty in your pink outfit. <laughs> Is it new? What? The outfit. Yeah, I, I just bought it for her the other day. She's got to have the largest wardrobe in Washington, D.C. That's true. Can't look at anything without thinking of her. You know, I know Allison is too little to be my flower girl, but I'd still like to buy her something special to wear at the wedding. Oh, Julie, just think. Four generations of McCandlesses, and this little one is the most precious one of all. Julie? Look, Mr. Sinclair, you had no right to go to my wife and upset her like you did. Especially without my being there. Had you been there, Captain McCandless, I assure you we that We participated I... in a completely legal private adoption. Allison is now our child. I am well aware of the adoption process, Captain. As you well know, I was more than casually involved. Then what's the problem here? The mother gave up her child. What does she expect? To turn around and take it back again? She has no grounds. I'm not so sure about that. Not since I saw this.